Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I use Blender Grease Pencil for autoscoping. Alright, let's open Blender, go to File, New to the Animation. Now switch to Object Mode, Shift A to add an image reference, locate your reference. Don't forget to tick Movie Files so you can see videos. So mine is this one and load it. Press S to scale it up and go right here to the property. Set it on back so your grease pencil will be always over the reference. And now let's focus on this setting right here. So frame is on 100. That's mean the video will be read until 100 frame and stop. So I'm going to put this on 200. Start mean that the video will be start reading at 1 with 0 offset. But I want to offset to find my starting point of the rotoscoping right here and I'm moving the timeline to find my end right here so if I press play right now it's going to read in loop and you can tweak the opacity if you need right here up to you uh, the video looks like really slow because the grease pencil is on 24 frames. The original video is on 29.97, I believe. So yeah, right now it's gonna look normal. So I'm switching back to 24 frames because I really like to animate in that frame rate. All right, so now click on the stroke, which is the grease pencil. So first thing first, switch to draw mode. I'm going to set my pencil and take the pen, set the radius to 15. I want to change color to a very very bright like greenish color like this so I can see what I'm doing the eraser I like the eraser point my rotoscoping method is pretty simple and to demonstrate you this I will work on a small portion of the video I really like to work with layers and I encourage you to do the same by giving them a proper name I call my first layer guide and the second one body. On the guide layer, I'm going to select the keyframe, then press Shift D to duplicate. Now, by moving slowly the cursor, I'm counting four steps and release it. Keep going to duplicate until you reach the end and delete the excess if necessary. I will start to draw one frame every four steps in order to achieve quick results. You can eventually adapt this method at your convenience or even refine the animation by adding more in-betweens. On the body layer, I'm going to pick the circle, then trace a circle roughly to the size of the body. And on edit mode, make sure you, you're on the select mode, like this, select, and go to sculpt mode, make sure to select this one as well and take the posture and I'm going to try to fit the circle to the shape of the body try to find the shape really quickly now let's move the timeline at the highest point of the motion I'm going to sculpt the ski frame and just keep going to follow this process until the last keyframe. Now I'm using the interpolation tool to make the in-betweens to complete the missing keyframes. Remember, the interpolation tool is only effective if you put the timeline in between two main keyframes. Don't hesitate to edit manually the in-betweens created if they are a little bit off. body is done and here what we have so far let's move on to the next layer click the little plus to create a new one which is going to be the head like i did for the body i'm going to use the same process for the head as well Keyframes are done, now the interpolations. 
here we go body and head are done and guess what I also use that technique to build the pants now I'm happy with the head the body and the pants so I'm going to merge them together after that let's do a little bit of cleanup with the cutter So this is what we have so far, it's not very complicated as long as you can use the tools and also the interpolation. Let's move on to build the arms by creating a new layer. And right here I'm just going to show you the classic way which is the frame by frame. So for each frame I'm just going to draw manually the arms. After spending some time, you should get something like this. And what we've done is pretty much the basic of rotoscoping. With the arms and body merged together, I decided to manually draw the lines of the shirt. And as you're progressing into this project, you should start to get something cool. To finish this video, I'm just going to create a new layer for the face features and use the interpolation trick to make it fast. That's it for me for this video. I hope it will help a lot of you who are willing to use this animation style. Obviously, this is my personal way to approach rotoscoping. You can certainly find some better options somewhere else. But as long as I can provide you answers that all matter, don't forget to give me some news about it, like and subscribe, until next time, peace.